You say that as if I wasn't standing there right next to you, flying down the zip line. How can you say that went all that bad? You were half unconscious. I had to carry your limp body up seven flights of stairs and then throw your body down that zip line. <laughs> Believe me, Stockholm did not go that well. We're just not remembering it right. <laughs> Anything you're remembering is left over from that tranquilizer-induced haze you were under. Okay, you spent half the time trying to propose to my elbow. No, I didn't. Did I? It almost got a shot. Where do you think I got this scar? Didn't you get that in Athens? This is from Athens. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, gosh, what, what was his name? Uh, 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 Yinny, Yinny. Giannis. Giannis, yeah. What a bastard. I know, one of the worst. Yeah, he got his, though. I never thought I could see somebody's face just crunch like that. No, nah, the right amount of pressure, a face will do just about anything. Agent Alpha, has the rendezvous been established? That's affirmative control. Good. Keep all of your eyes open. Yep, copy that. <sighs> Spad missions like those make me enjoy a long bath, a glass of wine. Nothing more relaxing than that. You ever use bath salts? It's no. supposed to be really nice. No, I'm a purist, man. Just a hot tub of water for me. I just tend to my herb garden. Hmm. You got any basil in there? Oh yeah. yeah sometimes I'll uh, actually take the basil and set up and uh, Ooh, then I'll. Oh hey hey. What, Dimitri? Not Dimitri. Her. Whoa. Mm hmm. Oh, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. How long has she been there? Well, I don't know. Uh, a long while, it looks like. How, how did I miss her? She didn't come up on any of my sweeps. Maybe you were too busy talking about how you screwed up Stockholm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I'd kill for a date with her. You? <laughs> Why do you think I'm always the one who takes the lead on the missions that involve talking to women? All right, just uh, help me out here, all right? I'll put it in an earpiece, and uh, you feed me the lines of the comm and tell me what to say to her. That's ridiculous. No, it's not. You always get the girl. But last time, you ran off with the girl, and I spent three days undercover as a geisha. You owe me. This one time, I want to I wanna get talk to the girl and, and be able to take her on a date. You know, fine. Get out there. Mm. Yes, awesome. All right, all right. Check, check. Do you read? Yep, gotcha. Loud and clear. All right, okay. Take a breath first. You don't want to blow this before you even start. Okay, what do I say to her? You're going to walk up to her, you're going to give her some distance, and then you're going to say, excuse me, I don't mean to disturb you. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you. Um, I was walking down the path over there and I couldn't help but notice your book. Uh, Hemingway is my favorite author of all time. Oh yeah, he's really amazing. Uh, seems like you've had that book for years. This one? Yeah, it's the first of his I ever read. I have a little soft spot for it. Robert Jordan is one of the finest characters ever written in all of literature. You think so too? Yeah, all my friends think I'm a little weird for liking these books. You'd have to be weird not to like them. Uh, would you care for some company? No, I wouldn't mind. Go ahead. Thank you. You're very kind. By the way, my name's Keith. Uh, thank you. You're very kind. By the way, my name's Keith. I'm Danny. She should really be with someone who knows how to talk to her. <laughs> so
So, do you come to this park often to read? Oh, hell, it's Dimitri. I try to come here every weekend. It's a perfect place if you just want to relax and read a book. <laughs> um, yeah, no, right, totally. Uh, yeah, the, the, this park, it's really, uh, cool. The others don't even begin to compare to this one. I know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, all the other parks I've been to just suck. I mean, none of them have cool people, reading cool books. <laughs> Maybe I should come to this park more often. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no what? Screw him. I just saved his life. <laughs> he owes me one now. <laughs> you know what I've always found to be really fascinating about Hemingway? You know what I've always found fascinating about Hemingway? What's that? Well, you know how people say, you know, he almost drank himself to death and after the big accidents. His writing really suffered in the later days. Yeah, it's such, such a shame. Can you just imagine what he could have written if all that sad stuff never happened to him? Oh, well, you know that's not what actually happened, right? But what really happened is he broke both his hands and his legs, and he, he couldn't do much after that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, I know it's terrible, but he couldn't really write so much. No, what he did then is he would actually write by putting a pen in his mouth. He would write like that. And, uh, um, you know, when, when his mouth would get tired from uh, uh, holding the pen in it for too long, he would, uh, he would get these um, special uh, underwear? Uh, these the special underwear. Yeah, he would, he would put that pen in his underwear, and when he got excited enough, he could write with it. He would take a pen and he would put it on his, uh, on his, uh, his, his crotch, and, and, and he would write. Um, and uh, what 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 he would do is it, when he got really excited, he would he would be able to go for hours. Uh, I mean, he would uh, he would be able to write for hours uh, using his crotch pen. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, can you just hold on one minute? I uh, I I left my headlights on. But it's daytime. Yeah, I I know. Weird, right? But um, I really need to go turn those off, and uh, I'll be right back. Just don't don't go anywhere. You asshole! I can't believe you made me say all that. Is that even true? Nope. What is the matter with you? You're ruining everything for me out there! Whatever. I mean, you don't even know what to do with a beautiful woman like that. You need somebody feeding you lines. That, that, that is not fair. You know I'm not any good at that kind of thing. Agent Alpha, has the target been acquired yet? Yes! Alright, alright, calm down. Debriefing at 0800 hours. I know you're not good at that kind of thing. Which is exactly why that should be me out there talking to her. I don't even need your help. I can do this thing on my own. Doubt it. Just watch me! And thanks for Dimitri! Look, I know I've been acting really weird. And I'm not actually completely sure that everything I said about Hemingway was true. Uh, yeah, I don't think any of it was true. Probably not, and I'm sorry about that. 
Look, the truth is, I was just trying to impress you, and I, I... What are you talking about? I don't know. I guess I just... I really wanted to sound like I knew something about something that you liked, and I screwed that up. The truth is, I saw you from across the park, and I thought you were the prettiest girl that I've seen. I, I, I mean, like, well, I've seen in a while. Uh, Do you mean that? Yes! Totally, and I love that you love that book. I think that's awesome. I guess I just was hoping you'd give me another chance. Like maybe we can, I don't know, grab a coffee or go somewhere. And I promise not to say anything dumb about Hemingway. Mm -hmm. You won't say anything else about crotch pens? <laughs> Nothing, I promise. All right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's great. Uh, I know the perfect spot around here. Get out of the way!